Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and today we're catching and cooking carp. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp and today we are catching and cooking a common carp. Oh yeah, I know a lot of you people have been excited to see this. Here it is. Here in the US, when people find out I'm into carp fishing, one of the first questions I get is, do you eat the carp? And the short answer is, is no. I'm mostly a catch and release fisherman, so I only keep and eat fish a couple times a year. And I've never eaten a common carp. And most of the people I know have never eaten one either. Uh, here in the US, most people believe common carp aren't an edible fish or that it's not a good tasting fish and that's why a lot of people here consider carp a trash fish. And what most Americans are surprised to find out is that carp are the most popular freshwater game fish in the world. And it seems like almost every culture except for the US likes to, likes to fish for them. It's kind of like soccer. <laughs> Everyone's into it but us. So in this video I'm going to show you how to catch carp, then I'm going to clean it, and I've got a friend who's cooked many carp He's gonna come in and show us some awesome recipes. So, it's gonna be a fun video. All right, first things first, let's get a rod baited and out in the water. To do that, I'm using what's called a pack bait. This is a ball of breadcrumb, sweet corn, and a strawberry jello flavor. And I'm mushing it into a ball and putting it on top of what's called a method lead. And then I'm using a fake piece of corn and I'm Slapping that bad boy all into a ball, and we're gonna cast it out. One of the biggest reasons why Americans have trouble catching carp is they don't understand that carp just eat different things than bass and bluegill and crappie and all the other things we fish for regularly. Carp are omnivores, and they'll eat just about anything but they, they like to forage as opposed to hunt. This isn't always true, but generally speaking. And so a carp will eat little insects and larvas, they'll eat clams and snails, but some baits that generally work really well across the board are things like corn. Corn's a great classic carp bait. Uh, bread is another one. There's also a commercially made bait called a boily. It's a round ball of boiled dough that they sell in a bag that's specifically designed for carp fishing. They come in every flavor, scent, and size that you can imagine. So you can see it's early in the morning. It's about six in the morning. Last night before I went to bed, I came here and threw out about 10 pounds of boiled feed corn and boiled pigeon feed. And threw it right on top of the spots that I was gonna be fishing and spread it out really good. Doing that, consistently chumming a spot, can turn a mediocre fishing hole into an amazing fishing spot. So this right here is a bite alarm, and you can see it beeps whenever something touches the line. It's very, very sensitive, and so you get these little beeps often before you get a bite, a real bite, and it gives you a warning that something's about to happen. Oh, we got one, got one. Got a double. Oh, he popped out real quick. He must have just been barely hooked. Guys, this is why I carp fish. Look at this. Woo. What an incredibly feisty fish. I've had my hook in the water for two minutes and I've already had two fish on. Um, and these fish are averaging 12 pounds here. And this is really typical. Um, I'll come in here for an hour or two before work and typically catch three to four fish. Whoa. When carp get really crazy, if you cover their eyes gently with your hands, they'll calm down, kind of like a canary, you know? Look at this, this is a slightly smaller than average carp for this area. Um, what a beautiful fish, hard fighting fish just an absolute ton of fun. But this one is a perfect eating size. So this long net right here is called a keep net. 
It's designed to keep your fish alive. It's kind of like a live well. And you just put the fish in there and they have plenty of room to swim. This thing's about 10 feet long. Goes off into the water. You fit a lot of carp in there. If you're into bank fishing and you want to keep your bait alive or your fish alive, this thing's awesome. Got it off of eBay for like 20 bucks. With this much action, I'm gonna throw some more chum out here. But I'm gonna try not to spread it out too much. So if you're new to my channel and new to carp fishing, you may be asking yourself, what's all this gear he's using? You know, what are those bite alarms? What's that rig he's using? How do you make that bait? Um, I get these questions all the time, so I've repeated it like a billion times in my videos. For the sake of my subscribers, I'm not gonna go over all my gear again. However, I'm gonna put links in the descriptions to all the different things I'm using and where I bought them. So check that out. Also, I have an entire playlist of just videos that explain how to catch carp. All that's gonna be in the description, so check that out. I put that carp in the keep net about a minute ago and I'm already getting bites on my, my rod. There's just, they're thick in here. Oh, oh. Hold on. One of the common myths here in the US is that carp are invasive and destructive. Neither one is exactly right. Carp aren't invasive anymore. They're what's called naturalized. An invasive fish is one that's taking over the ecosystem. A naturalized fish is a foreign fish that's reached a balance with the environment. Common carp in most states are listed as naturalized species, not invasive. And a lot of people think these fish are destructive to the environment. The truth is they're no more destructive than a bass or a catfish. Each of them play their own role in the ecosystem and they both give life and take it. All right, let's get them over here where we can land them. Look at that chunky fish. That's a big one. All right, isn't that a gorgeous fish? Look at this portly guy. This is a big, gorgeous trophy carp, and I'm not gonna eat this guy. It's more food than I could ever manage uh, without having tons and tons of leftovers. So I'm gonna put him back and let somebody else enjoy catching him. I'll catch you another day, maybe. Woo. If you notice this carp looks different than the others, it's because it's a mirror carp. It's very rare in this area. Less than 1% of the carp are mirror carp. There's something else, though, that makes this carp really special. This is the third time I've caught it. I've caught this carp the first time in 2013, in 2014, and then today in 2018. And I've caught it in this same spot, this time of year, every single time. That's the beauty of catch and release. You get to enjoy the same fish again and again. Well, before I butcher this fish, I've got to kill it first, and there's two ways I generally like to do that. Either A, I smack the fish on the head really hard, or you bleed out the gills. And bleeding out actually makes the meat taste better, and it's less traumatic to the fish, so they, they freak out a little bit less. So what I did is I bonked him over the head to kind of knock him out, and I took out his gills and put him face down in the bucket of water, and I'm just letting him bleed out, get all the blood out of him, make the meat taste better. And you can see it's a pretty Pretty calm way to go. He's uh, just going to sleep. First things first, we gotta take the scales off this thing. Whew, there's some chunky scales. Things are so well armored. All right, got the scales off them. Let's wash them up. Now I've heard that carp have a ton of bones. So I'm gonna just fillet this thing and then we're gonna see what the bone situation looks like and go from there. Some sort of bone right there. Something hard right there, is that a rib? That's a rib, man, that's a beefy rib. 
Look at those ribs. You're not cutting through those. It's not like a salmon where you can just cut them through and re remove them. Ooh, look at that. That is a strong rib cage. Well, that is not the prettiest filet ever. You know, people told me carp had all sorts of bones and that's why you couldn't eat them, but I mean, the only bones I'm feeling is a set of Y bones right here that end from like here to there, just like a salmon or a trout. Could have done a better job filleting him though. Come down the back and angle the knife a little bit more. I think there's a lot of boneless white back meat that I missed out on. Okay. A little bit better. Only a few Y bones right in there. As the great Harry Hill once said, I'll save this for later. Well, look at these fillets. These actually look pretty decent. Got a bit of pink to them. Well, I've got the fillets all ready for cooking, and I took the carcass and butchered that up, and I'm gonna be using that for catfish bait as well. So if you wanna see a video about fishing for catfish with carp as bait, check out a link in the description. As soon as I post that video, I'll put the link there. You know, carp were introduced to this country by people who loved to eat them. That they were such a popular fish to eat that people brought them all the way across the Atlantic to introduce here. And that's why they've spread all over the United States. Because everywhere the pioneers went, there was somebody who wished they had a good old carp to eat and they'd introduce them. Put my catfish bait in the freezer and I'm gonna go put the fillets in the refrigerator. We're gonna make these for dinner tonight. All right, everybody, we've got our fish. We're here at the house. Now we're gonna cook it up, but I am not a carp cooking expert. I've actually never eaten a carp before, and I've never cooked one before. So I have brought in an expert here. Jay, my boy, is gonna hook us up with a Bangladeshi carp recipe, right? Yes, sir. Sounded you never had a carp before? I've never filleted a carp or cut open a carp. Just gonna dump them in here. Some Old Bay seasoning. This one is, um, it has a little bit of uh, chili powder. So just like good amount, you know. That's, that's, that should be enough. Sweet. I'm gonna dump them. Oh, sorry. Did I, I should know what the 2020 is. Uh, because of uh, the salt makes the onion. Okay, okay, okay. Don't play, don't play, don't play. You wanna stand by Baba and see Baba make? Yeah. No, no, no. No. I think also, you're sure. not burning the onion. Sure. Anymore. So, like, two. That's good, that's good. That's good. good. All right. So, ooh, just put it on the element, because I'm awesome that way. Yeah. See, that's good. Okay, we're gonna eat. Hold it. Just. You wanna, you wanna show the ingredients on it? Uh, just a little bit. Okay. And the, I do it, like, that's fine. Oh, that's Actually, no. So much, just a little no, bit. No, no, see. I've got some cumin. Oh, my hand. Yeah, yeah get your head out. Garlic powder. There goes your garlic powder, and cumin powder, your curry powder, turmeric. Garam masala, cumin, paprika. Yeah. So you have to be gentle when you're mixing them. Okay. Okay. So this one. Oh, you wanna put it? Okay. 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 Some of them. There we go. It's covered. Okay. Get that. That's how it's supposed. to Yeah, that looks that looks really good, man. That smells good too. It's not fishy smelling at all. There's zero fish smell. Here we go. That looks good. Yes, okay, sir. All right. When you're eating Bangladeshi food, forks are for suckers, right? <laughs> oh, she wants one. Okay, I'll get you one. Mmm, that's good actually. What do you think of the smell though? Like, is there any smell? Smell. Wine. 
You barely can. No, I can't. I can't. I can't detect any fishy smell. Is it spicy? Like yeah. is it super spicy? No, no, no. This ain't spicy at all. This is this is this is real mild. This is American mild. Oh look, oh, look at that. I've never seen bones like that. That's cool. Yeah. So people tell me that carp have all sorts of bones, and when I filleted the carp, I only found like a few bones. So I was kind of surprised at that. But when I cooked it and I'm um, eating the meat, I, I found a lot more bones, and this is what it is. This part sticks out of the meat, so it looks like just one bone. But if you break off the bottom, then you get all these little bones. But when you eat it this way, it, it just the meat falls apart, and you can just pull the whole bone out in one big, big chunk, and so it's not a big deal. But uh, that's that's what the carp bones you're hearing so much about look like. If carp bones were just like this, then it would pretty much be the same as a salmon. You know? too, so I mean, you can't go. Yeah. Oh. Wait, a, wait a zig. You can't real talk. It's good. Is this like a kid or? No, nope. I'm gonna try the fish because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. I mean, there's not a, not a lot of flavor to it, is there? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's just it's just like a lot of white meat fish. Yeah. I've heard so many people talk bad about it. I expected it to taste muddy or fishy or something, or stinky. Yeah. And it really, I mean, you can't smell, the house doesn't smell like fish, mm. the curry doesn't smell like fish, it doesn't taste like fish. Although, Jay, your curry is really good. That's the best part. Yeah, it is <laughs> a really, really good, good curry. <laughs> Guys, this curry was absolutely delicious, man. Jay, you you rocked it. This is this is I really tried. good. But the carb wasn't stinky. It didn't taste like mud. Um, it was just kind of like a white meat fish. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's you know we could have thrown tilapia in here. I don't know if I would have known the difference. You the know? funny thing is, she doesn't eat fish at all. She'll run away. But here it is. You guys see it. Yeah, she's she eating it. So guys, I would definitely eat carp again in a heartbeat. I don't see anything wrong with this. But this curry is freaking awesome though. I mean, <laughs> it's really good, Jay. Look at your plate. Yeah, man, I had like three servings of that, you know? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, we have an entire playlist with catch and cook videos. Uh, we've got a bunch of them. And so go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link in the description. And if you want to see more great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to... Click subscribe! Nailed it! <laughs> we put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching, guys. It's the